Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about plotting contour profile and cross section from the Excel data file I have. There is a free file called SWDTM developed by software company. You can see it on their website as well. All the details and contact detail are provided there. You can see it here. Okay, let me put this is the home page. You can it is developed by software private limited you can see it all the contact information given here now let's go you can see it in company profile okay now we will go to downloads and go on downloading software you can see it all the list of software they have kept on their website they have variety of software provided you can use it uh, most of the software are free for use among them sw road is the full version of software you need to purchase for this so there is no any download option for this so we will be downloading sw dtm for now okay. let me open this sw dtm software uh, first opening for this software we need to open autocad uh, it cannot be opened directly so first we need to open AutoCAD file I am opening AutoCAD okay now my AutoCAD file is loading uh, this is my AutoCAD 2018 version but it can be operated on any other version we have okay now my file is open I will go to new and I will create a new file okay now this is my new file now I will go and open SWDTM software okay now my software is open you can see it this is from this we will be processing all the details we required like control uh, road alignment profile and cross section okay now for this we need uh, data okay uh, this software reads excel format uh, maybe it can be any format like dot xls CSV. I'm opening my Excel file. This is topographical survey data. Now this is my data. Okay. Now let me show you. The first column must contain serial number. Second should contain string. Okay. This should contain string. Third should contain nothing. Elevation and code. Okay. It should always be on this format. So remember this format. Now I'll select all the data. Okay. Let me press Shift Control and down arrow okay my all data are selected now what i will do is i'll go to the software and press import from software okay now i'll press import and i'll go to autocad software okay we cannot see any other any description of uh, importing data so this is the drawbacks of the software what i need to do is i need to press zoom extend jet enter e enter okay now you can see my data this is the, uh, list of data uh, imported from Excel okay you can see all the required data now I need to set boundary so that my processing will be uh, need to be done within the uh, boundary limit so I'll go to draw and add boundary you can see it now boundary line I'm drawing boundary line uh, uh, you need to draw precisely so that uh, processing can be draw, uh, done accurately you can see it I'm doing roughly uh, but you need to do uh, more accurately okay this is very useful software uh, it is uh, fast reliable and uh, doesn't take enough time okay this is free version so you can download you can get it on its website okay now my boundary is completed and I'll press enter okay now I'll go to point and process point okay now I'll go to okay okay now notification is shown of processing point now I'll go to triangles and triangulate okay you need to get this warning for uh, further processing now go to contour 
and there are contour option i'll go to draw around contour and then uh, all other required details are uh, shown uh, contour interval measure contour and round factor okay you can change it if you require but generally this is okay i'll go to draw okay now you can see uh, my contour is drawn okay major and minor contour so you can see it okay this is what we need okay you can do like this for topographical survey if you need contour now let's see for uh, road profile and cross section now i'll cross this and i'll open again another new file okay let me go to new get the dwt okay i'll go to open now this is my new file we will process uh, another data of uh, road survey okay i i've got that data also okay this is my road survey data you can see it all the detail re is road is uh, sh is for diet this is is for diet and c refers to center line this is since this is existing road uh, so i have got all the details like uh, road is road center line okay you can do it for new survey as well okay now same as before i'll select all the data shift Control and enter okay now i'll go to swdtm software and let me open this here okay point and import from the excel okay import point okay now no any description it's on i'll go to zoom extent and you can see it my road so data are shown below okay this is my road survey data you can see it uh, since uh, this is my existing road data uh, C refers to center line and my alignment will go with respect to the center line of existing road so what I will do is um, I will only import cross center line for the first okay now let me delete all this data and I will go to Excel Okay, now I'll go to sort and filter and from A to Z. Okay, now I'll go to since I need to select only center line data, I will directly go to C which refers to road center line. Okay, now let me select all the data. Okay, now this is it. Now I'll I'll copy this data and go to points and import from excel okay now this is my road center line data uh, with respect to this alignment my other uh, cross section will be uh, drum letter okay now what i'll do is i'll draw poly line uh, why i am doing is uh, because if we import all the points it will be difficult uh, to select uh, alignment later on so uh, I'll draw a polyline so that I can um, select over this line later uh, you will see this also but if your survey is for uh, new alignment uh, you can directly import all the required point and later on looking at the contour you can set your alignment also and this depends upon your survey type okay and selecting uh, since this is very long I'll just select some point and leave it other this is just to show you how it can be processed okay this is it I'm doing this just out to this you can do it further if required okay, I'll go to <coughs> okay let me now I'll select all the data again okay shift control and enter okay and i'll copy this data i'll go to software point import from excel okay okay this is it now you can see my all data are again imported okay now as before we need to draw boundary 
to set the limit for data processing ok now I will set a boundary uh, this may take a while if your data uh, road alignment is long but, but you are request to do it very precisely so that uh, the data can be processed properly ok you can see it I am doing it this is very widely used software in context of Nepal uh, users from other countries are increasing like in India, Pakistan and Bhutan also since this is uh, free software and we can easily draw a cross section profile alignment so uh, it doesn't need any uh, perfect AutoCAD users plot data as well it is very much commonly used you can see how easily I, I can I get all the detail I require but for full option you need to purchase full version by that you can do all the required option like road edge, canal etc for data manipulation ok boundary is done I'll press enter now tell you I'll go to point and process this point first okay no okay yes no. successful message is shown now I'll go to triangles and triangulate okay again successfully it's done now I'll go to contour as like before draw contour okay now draw mm. it may take some time it depends upon the <coughs> point size you have got okay it's processing you can see it data is getting processed okay now it's done oops there is some mistake on elevation okay now you can see now my contour is perfect except that point sorry for that okay now this is my data now what I'll do is I'll go to alignment and draw alignment okay now as I have said you previously since I have drawn polyline I can directly draw my alignment line over that polyline if I had not drawn that polyline before then it would be difficult for me to uh, source uh, center line on every interval so for my uh, easiness and to work faster I have done it drawn polyline earlier you can do it as well but if you we are doing it for new alignment there won't there won't be any details of center line so we need to see contour details and run the alignment along with it it takes time okay it's very easy see I'm drawing over previously drawn polyline you can do this as well if it's for existing alignment Okay, let me draw it. I'll just drop to here. So I it I doesn't require more for now. It's just a sample to show you. Now my alignment is completed. I'll go to cross section and there section by DTM. Okay, now you can see it. There L profile option and L profile and cross section. Since I need to draw both. Okay, I will go to L profile and cross section. You can see it start change option, cross section interval, and uh, side that. You can see right change option. Tick that if you want to uh, write change details. Okay, left and right option is shown. Okay, I will go to select. Now it asks me where to explore that data. Okay, now I click road and save it on desktop. Okay saving it now my profile and cross section data are saved now you can see uh, notification down select the alignment nearer to the starting point now I'll go to my starting point and 
select this okay now so now it's done you can see the chain is detailed okay on every 20 meter interval my chain edge is drawn okay this is what was required you can do it easily okay see all the details are provided okay my data is alignment length is of 561.86 meter okay it's giving me final endpoint alignment now let me show you how exported data are provided given okay now there are profile and cross section data let me go to profile you can see it change is detail and rl detail on every change is detail interval okay now let me go to cross section again you can see it on every 20 meter change interval there are point detail and uh, rl detail okay let me minimize this and i'll go to drawing again now i need to draw cross section and profile so i'll go to uh, draw l profile and cross section okay you can get it draw l profile okay there you can see variety of option now i'll go to add interval of 10 meter so that my uh, profile will, will so 10 meter interval profile okay you can see it i'll give it later now scale i'll keep it at thousand so it will be as one is to one ratio okay leaving all other i'll go to draw all okay now there is notification pick any reference point i'll select there oh i select quite nearer closer okay you can select little far okay now you can see since i have done 10 meter chains now my 10 meter interval you can see it my details are given on 10 meter interval okay can see it on every 10 meter details and scale is 1 is to 1 okay this is it now let me cross this now i'll go to again draw l cross section and go to draw cross section okay now you can see it again there are option now for this for cross section i'll go to include all changes and i'll keep that scale to thousand thousand horizontal and vertical one is to one so if later I, if i require to draw structure it will be easy now i'll keep it keep it row as one and number of column let it be random i'll keep it a thousand so that my point won't overlap okay now column row distance as 150 and i'll leave it other as it is i'll go to execute and you can see 30 cross section are found i'll go to draw all uh, you can see notification click a point okay now you can see it with the given instruction my cross section are plotted okay you can see it on elevation distance see since i have drawn one thousand and thousand you can see it now it is actually of meter distance now let me show you my measuring okay this is 10 meter interval All the details are given there I hope this video helps you to draw contour uh, alignment cross-section and profile okay keep updated I will be up updating more videos like this on future okay thank you for watching see you soon bye bye